So the other night, I had this dream where I was back in high school and everyone in the school had rounded up the school bully, you know, the typical, you know, heavy, you know, heavy set, six footer, you know, buzz cut hair, you know, generic style bully. And they were leading him by the arms down the hallway, going to bring him around the corner. And apparently I was posted guard at one of the exits on the opposite side of the corner. And he go, he makes a break for it. I stick up a steel pipe in his way and block him off. They drag him down what has become the last mile of the school into the courtyard where apparently some someone who is not a bully but just as big is going to put him down. So they put him to his knees. A uh, big brute good guy here, the executioner, raises up the fist and something in my head just goes wait he is scared out of his mind right now he knows that we are capable of stopping him anytime we want this has gone far enough we don't need to sink below his level so I stand in the path I stop the whole thing you know I let him get up hoping that okay he's going to see the light as it were with a completely straight face he gets into my face and tells me, You are going to regret doing that when I collect all seven Dragon Balls and wish to rule the world. Without missing a beat, I declare that I will be there to stop him when he tries. Cut to us in the same room playing a Dragon Ball game on Game Boy Advances. Trying to collect Dragon Balls before the other. This is just a weird dream I had the other night. It has absolutely nothing to do with this vlog. I just wanted to tell somebody, Hi, welcome to the vlog. I wish... I wish I had something to open. I don't normally do vlogs anymore unless I have something to open on camera so there's something going on. A little bit of action, a little bit of interest. But I've gone so long without posting a review of any kind whatsoever or any kind of thing. I just wanted to kind of break silence, as it were. So... Uh, first off, I'm going to ask answer a few questions, and then we're going to get to a few things that have come in lately. And the thing that pissed me off this morning. It's going to get ranty at the end, but there is a point to it. This isn't just me venting frustration. This is me warning you. Uh, in fact, let me prepare that really quickly here. Unprofessional of me, but, you know, I just now, uh, just now had thought of this. Okay, ready here. Number one question I keep getting asked lately is, uh, actually, half question, half demand, and you know how I am with demands. Um, a lot of people wanted me to do a Christmas haul video, like I did last year. Um, no, no, unfortunately, no. And here is why. My Christmas hauls are usually, you know, very grand. My whole family just kind of chips in. I usually get Christmas money and buy stuff for myself as well. Um, so, yeah, normally, normally I have things coming in. Normally I have a haul to show off. This year, my entire haul pretty much went into this. This is my HD camcorder. Yeah. TJ Omega has gone HD, as I you know as I tried to say before. This is a Canon Vixia HF R21. It is a very good consumer level camera, and it is a Canon just like my current one. So it's rather like an evolution of what I am recording with right now. The problem is it is such a step up from the normal camera that I'm using now. Um, my computer isn't ready for it. Uh, I have the raw horsepower for, to process it, but it can't display it because it doesn't have a good enough graphics card in the computer. Really, really sucks. Um, so, that's unfortunate. So, that's why, uh, that also answers the other question. Why, you know, why isn't this in HD? You know, like every review I do now is like, why wasn't this in HD? My HD camera right now is incredibly hard to work with. Uh, when you don't have the visual processing power to actually stream a 1080p 
video stream. It just does not want to cooperate. Even dumbing it down to 720, the footage quality is so high, it shrudges through. The Shin Ken Red review, uh, I literally edited that with the audio. I couldn't look at the video the entire time I edited that review. And even th and because of that, there are some kinks that are left in the video. It's not, it's not as cleanly edited as I would prefer. So that's really unfortunate. That sucks. So all the HD reviews are put off until I can get a, a decent video card, which without going, you know, with... Which it's, it's unfortunate because I can get a video card that's strong enough to handle the HD video, but not one that'll actually let me do any high quality gaming, unfortunately, because I don't know, my computer has a, has a year or two on it now. Hmm. But more importantly, it's going to work for the video stuff. It's just going to take a little bit longer because, you know, there are budgetary reasons. It's going to be my very, very late Christmas present, mostly. So. That's why I don't have a Christmas haul video. That's why I don't have. Um, that's why I don't have HD reviews up. I did get a couple things that you can say were for Christmas. Uh, I got Voyager Sentinel Prime, which is a problematic toy. It's okay, best if you can get it on sale. That's probably the time to do it. Uh, Human Alliance Reverb, awesome toy. Uh, don't be deceived by how he looks in box in the package. He's mistransformed to fit inside the bubble. Uh, out of the package, transform correctly. He looks incredible. Um, did get this with what Christmas cash I did have free. Prime Star Scream. Unfortunately, mine has a misassembled foot. Uh, I have a return label for that because I got this off HTS. I just haven't, I haven't gotten around to shipping it back. It's also that weird, um, also that weird thing they have with don't. You know, you know, if we don't, if we can't replace it exactly, then we will send you a toy of equivalent value. Say, bull crap! You won't. <laughs> I, I want my star scream. You know, like, so I'm probably, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna mail it back sometime this week if I get around to it, and just say, well, if you can't replace it exactly, then you know, please just send me back this one. Because I will take a gimp foot over not having it at all. Uh, this kind of relates to what I'm going to talk about later on. But the other thing that I did get... That's a mini plug Gojujin. One of my favorite robo designs they've had for a long time in uh, Super Sentai. Really wish I had the big version. Especially now that I've got uh, Gokaio. Which, ah, I hate Bandai stickers. I hate Bandai stickers and I hate my inability to paint fine details. The two together uh, kind of screw me. Otherwise I would have painted him and he would have looked incredible. Um, let's see, what else? Can I say anything else I got? No, nah, mostly. I got myself one thing that is what I really wished was here today and unfortunately no I think it's gonna be a couple weeks before I see any trace of it um, as some of you have probably noticed if you listen to the WTF and TFW podcast I've talked about uh, a little bit of this before um, and if you follow me on Twitter she should be following me on Twitter it's TJ Omega on Twitter cheap Twitter plug done uh, I've been collecting Forza switches I'm doing the same thing that I did with Medals. The medals are so much easier to get than the belt, right? You know, where the medals were so much easier to get than the belt, so I just started collecting medals in preparation for the belt. And I'm doing the same thing for switches and the Forze driver. I have the Forze driver on the way. Unfortunately, uh, as it stands right now, it's completely buried in holiday shipping traffic. Now, it's just it's concerning because it came with a tracking number. It's registered SAL, so it has a tracking number, a tracking number that does not work, which is concerning because I ordered this thing four and a half weeks ago and the tracking number still hasn't updated since it activated. Now, 
it's cheapo SAL. I know, that's not too out there. It's not too unusual. I just got something in the mail yesterday that the tracking number never updated. So, you know, especially around Christmas time. You know, those things tend to get skipped. Uh, I had almost lost hope. Like, I'd, I'd even emailed Madarake telling, telling them, why isn't my number working? I might have jumped the gun on that because I had also... I had also ordered DX Switch Set 1. Uh, I had ordered that back in November. And just a couple days ago, uh, I was emailing a friend of mine, and we had come to the conclusion that it's been six weeks and five days since it shipped. There's no way it, you're still getting it. It is obviously lost. Just give up you know, go find a replacement, and I was perfectly ready to do that. DX Switch Set 1. Came the very same day it was complained about. A lot of hassle for just little tiny switches. Little tiny blocks of plastic. Uh, so yeah. I know a lot of you out there uh, I've caught a lot of it on Twitter, I've seen it in a few forum posts, and I have also seen it uh, on YouTube comments. A lot of you are in the same boat as me. You've been waiting for things that got shipped in December or a little earlier than that that have just gone completely missing. Don't lose hope. Six and a half weeks, almost seven weeks. But they did make it, and I will tell you this, the box they came in was immaculate. This wasn't fallen off the assembly line, this didn't uh, get kicked around a storage room for, you know, the last month. This looked like it was just sitting around, waiting its turn. <laughs> uh, actually, the one I got yesterday was in far worse condition, and it made it in normal time. So, if you are waiting for something, if it's been like four weeks, just give it time. Anything that's shipped out of Tokyo International is probably a good four weeks later than it would normally be. Uh, yes, it's disheartening, and it should start to thin out now that we're into January, but don't lose hope, and don't call it lost just yet. Uh, I'd say eight weeks is probably the time that you should be calling it lost at this point. If it goes that long, then call it lost. Until then, hold out. It's probably just waiting its turn. So, that's that. Also wanted to talk something that I got yesterday. Uh, this, I guess you can call this a Christmas thing. I got it with Christmas cash. Actually, I got it with uh, video revenue. Um, the Forza driver was, was my self-bought Christmas present. Of course, it hasn't shown up yet. But since I want to, since I update you guys every time I do something with this, I do want to show off this. This is Ryuki's belt, specifically the V buckle. As you can see, it's pretty chrome, uh, and yeah, a lot of you probably know I'm not a fan of Ryuki, uh, but. I'm trying to complete a collection of Heisei Rider belts. Once Forze gets here, the only ones I will be missing is Kuga and Blade. And Blade I'd have already if someone, if anyone on eBay was charging what the toy is actually worth. So, you know, the Rider belt collection is growing, is expanding, as always. <sighs> it's all going very well. Okay, is there something else I was going to... Oh. That does bring me to the big thing that happened this morning. Um, the belt came from an eBay seller, and it's a weird little Cody name, so let me get this right. 0215JHP is the eBay seller. I'm not going to spell that out. I'm not going to put it in the description, because quite frankly, that's more advertising than they deserve already. Uh, let me click that off now. I'm updated. Thank you. Uh, and it wasn't over the Ryuki thing. Uh, I, you know, it was as described, though, in wor no, the box was in worse condition than they let on. It had clearly been 
ripped open and then taped back together. But the listing was technically correct. It wasn't played with. It, you know, it was still brand new in box. So hard to fault that. You know, and it was a worthy price. Here, the reason here, the reason I went out and bought this brand new instead of waiting for a used one is because of that chrome. I'll get more into it when I eventually review this thing, but that chrome is what made me buy it brand new. This is, you know, chrome paint is just so easy to scratch, that vac metal paint. So easy to scratch, so easy to chip and wear. To really ensure that I got a good looking one, I had to get it new. So, you know, I was willing to spend a little bit more on that than what I think the belt is worth. But that's more to get into once the proper review happens at some point. Yeah, it's in, it's in the to-do pile along with a billion other things that no one better remind me of. I had like a, you know, I had like two week period where someone had to remind me about uh, attic num you know, worst t number two. I hate, I hate the delays as much as you guys do. Most of you know that, some of you are very impatient. To the impatient, honestly, things around here have just been way too stressful. That's why I haven't been producing any videos lately. I know it's hard, and a lot of that is because, you know, I've got the Forza driver out and missing. I know it seems silly. Oh, boo-hoo, there's a, you know, there's a toy you haven't gotten yet. Out of how many you own. <laughs> but that wasn't the only thing that I bought in the order. You know, that's $145 of merchandise that should have been here weeks ago and is not. You know... You, you try spending $150 and then having nothing to show for it for this long and tell me what kind of mood you're in. That and things have just been really stressful. And it's so easy to throw off the creative process. You know, and I don't want to force it and I don't want to half-ass it. I would rather produce no videos than produce really, really lame ones that I had to force out of my system. Anyway, back to eBay seller. Um, I was watching this seller because there's some really good prices on stuff and if you go check there you're going to find really good prices on stuff that I know a lot of people have been waiting for a lot of people have been hoping would come out cheaper again uh, do me a favor don't buy from them you can get it for you, whatever you see there you can get for the same price or better elsewhere on eBay for some reason it's like big warehouse full of Korean toys, just like Korean Kamen Rider toys, just opened up and like there's like six or seven eBay sellers right now pushing out Fives and Kabuto and all kinds of toys uh, and including double toys. Yeah, Korean, yeah, uh, double has started in Korea. You can go get a double driver for for under a hundred dollars now. You know, and you know, play the hallelujah chorus, lights from down above, Double is affordable again. I know a lot of you have been waiting on that. I've been waiting on that. Uh, first thing I do when someone posts them for okay prices, because for some reason the belt's at a great price, The uh, what I'm after is okay, uh, I want to complete my memory gadgets. I need the spider shock and I need the stag phone. Uh, so those... Those came out too, so I'm looking forward to finding those dirt cheap. Anyway, this eBay seller, which I will not name again, among all their toys had one of my grails, like you, th you know, one of the most awesome rider toys I think I've ever witnessed, which is the Fies Blaster, huge toy with a ton of electronic effects, a ton of sound effects in it, just an awesome, awesome piece. And going for a hundred shipped. To give perspective, the only other one on eBay right now is 210, and it's used. This one was brand new in box. I had I, I caught this almost a month. I noticed this was up almost a month ago when it first went online, and I didn't buy it then because I didn't want to be caught unawares. See, uh, my Toy budget is pretty much whatever I make off of video revenue for YouTube and Blip. Whatever I make that month, that's how much I have to spend on toys. So, not to be caught with my pants down when Transformer Prime toys get released, or the next set of candy toy switches, 
gets released because I've been intentionally skipping ones like the water switch and oh what's the other one I skipped the water switch and I skipped stealth in the name of getting this candy toy set because it has the Agito switch for those who are unfamiliar with this channel uh, why are you watching a vlog and if this were Pee Wee's Playhouse Agito would be the secret word every day uh, that's like that's one that, you know right up there with stronger which is in candy toy set 5 I believe uh, along with stronger is like the two top the top two I wanted so needed that skipped a few switches to make sure that one was worth buying and all that and I, and I know that uh, the prime toys are are going to start hitting Hasbro toy shop again I still need RC uh, we're waiting for uh, the Voyagers and the two pack to stock really really looking forward to those because Starscream and even Bumblebee was really good I like that Bumblebee toy it's rare when I can say I like a Bumblebee toy these days so I am how many times have I gone off on tangents trying to discuss this eBay seller experience so yeah affordable Fize Blaster. A hundred shipped is a great price on a brand new unopened Fize Blaster. I put it off because I needed money for these things throughout the month. And I put it off because the seller listed five in stock. Great! No rush whatsoever. The seller only had one. Why you would lie about your stock when you've only got one, I don't know. If I knew they only had one, I would have bought it the first day. And I would have taken the consequences. Because that's not a toy you skip on for any good re without a really, really good reason. And I, e I emailed them to ask what happened. It's like, no, we, no, sorry, we only had one. Sold out. Sorry. It, it just sold out last, they just sold that one last night. You know, they took the listing down with less than a day to go before it expired with still four listed in the quantity why you would lie about that I don't know and I because they felt the need to lie about how many they had I get screwed out of it I emailed them and asked okay well you know their excuse is well we run a real store too aka an eBay store is a real store too you morons uh, so we can't really check our stock in real time. If they sold in the store, then why are you listing them on eBay if you're selling them in the store too? You know, list one at a time if you want to sell on eBay. Don't say, oh, we got five of them, and then spend a month, you know, refusing to update how many you've got. Okay, if you start out with five, fine. But either sell them in the store or sell them on eBay. Don't, like, don't split the stock because then, you know, then accidents like this happen you know so you know either someone brings you one to the register that you've already sold or someone comes looking for it on an eBay and finds out you ugh. it's really frustrating so okay let's test this what is how many perfect sectors do you have because the perfect sector was listed under the exact same circumstances five in stock hundred dollars shipped brand new in box. They go back to me. We only have one. It took them about five minutes to respond to me. Now, it's so hard to get a real-time stat on how many we have in stock. Gee, seems like it took five minutes. That doesn't seem like a very big delay to me. So, yeah, they were flat-out lying just for the sake of being lazy. And as a result, I missed out on the Fives Blaster at a price that I will never see again. Uh, I'm just advising you, yes, I will say this about them. The Ryuki belt was exactly as described. It was a decent price for a brand new one. And, uh, well, their communication was great. And, you know, it was shipped quickly. I got it in nine days, which out of Korea is really fast. You know, nine days for, you know, nine days, 47 days. Weird how that works. So, 
So, you know, j you know, like, so just, uh, I, I guess for me as a measure of spite, you know, and, you know, like, they, you know, if they list it, then they actually do have it, okay? So, you know, and they are charging the price. It is what they say it is. We'll ship quickly and they have great communication. But, but lying is lying. You know, you, you know, it doesn't matter how you deceive the customer, you're deceiving the customer. You know, and yes, you know, you know, technically for service and items, I can't fault them in the least. Maybe, I, you know, you'll say, well, your view's being colored because, you know, you got a raw deal here. Damn right my view's colored right now. They lied to me. They lied to everyone. I'm sure I was not the only one watching that listing going, well, they still got five, there's no rush on it at all. You know, a hundred bucks is a lot to spend, even if it is cheap for that toy. <sighs> if I had known there was only one, it would have already been here. I would have been unopening, I would have been opening it up yesterday. You know, on camera for all you guys. And this isn't a situation like the the Fies driver. I don't want anyone going looking. I don't want anyone going, you know, I, you know, don't anyone do anything about this because one, I feel really guilty when it happens. Uh, you know, you know, there, there have been situations where it's like, oh my God, you know, you people are so incredibly awesome. That was the most incredible thing that's ever happened to me. However, there are other times where, you know, but most of the time it's, well, here's an eBay link, and it's way, 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 way more expensive than you were going to pay originally. That doesn't help. That's easy. I check eBay every day. I have, like, a little saved Common Rider DX search link that I check every day just to see what new stuff comes up. So, if it's on eBay, I know about it. But, it's just really frustrating. Like, ugh, that could have been mine. More importantly, they robbed you guys of seeing a review of a really freaking cool Rider toy. Now, it's one of those cases where, you know, if anything, the universal rule to the online collecting is there will always be a second chance. Now, in this case, uh, you look at uh, the five stuff. Yeah, uh, a month ago, Fi stuff was really, really hard to find. You'd pay $300 for the belt, $100 for all the little accessory toys that are actually really crap because they barely do anything. Uh, right now, you can buy a Fi's pointer for 20 bucks or a Fi's shot for 20 bucks. You know, I can get the Fi's edge for like, uh, I want to say 65 is the lowest I saw for it. You know, you know, they're really good prices on Fi's gear in general right now. So, it all comes around. Eventually, you will be able to find it again. You know, uh, sometime I will find the Kuga belt eventually. I will find the blade belt for a price that it's worth, not the 80 bucks they want on eBay, eventually. And eventually, I will get my hands on a Fi's Blaster. I have the utmost confidence in that. It's just going to take a little while. So, it's just really frustrating that, you know, I was lied to. And I got screwed out of a belt, for, and I got screwed out of a really cool toy for it. So, um, yeah, avoid that, avoid that seller, even though everything about them is great. They still lie. Uh... And yeah, I'm going to try and get a review up, uh, hopefully tomorrow. You know, you know, you know, um, you know I'm, I'm slowly getting back in the mood. You know, this gave me hope. This tells me that I will wait, but my Forza driver will arrive eventually. Not to mention, I've got some really other awesome toys coming in. Ooh, awesome. So much awesome toys. Uh... As I always do. So, also, so again, if you are waiting for something out of Japan, if you got screwed on the SAL this year, give it time. It will come. Mostly. And I'm, you know, because, you know, two little plastic blocks have given me hope. So I'm starting to feel better. I'm going to get something reviewed. Uh... And I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best to get worst number two out. 
yes, I know it's taken this long time, but I can't, I can't help it. I, I literally have had no time to film lately. And when I have had, I just haven't been up to it. If I could have gotten it out faster, I would have gotten it out faster. So that's the unfortunate thing. So thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for watching this because this has gone way longer than I figured. Um, yeah, I have work to get back to. So I will get back to that. So you have something else to watch besides me just rambling on about random topics and dreams I had. This. Oh, also, I, I know most of you don't watch the Metrocon stuff, but check out part two of the panel I just posted. Crispin Freeman tells a story that that alone is worth watching it for. And yeah, you're going to get a few more because Metrocon 2012 is coming up, and this year, hopefully, I will be going in a way I have never gone to that convention in before. Hopefully. And if you're asking about... And if you've spent this entire vlog wondering what the hell is that shirt he is wearing... Yeah, I bought that off of T-Fury last week. It's the first time I've ever bought off of there. It's a 24-hour shirt site, which means that design is gone. But... Us Mario Kart players know the blue shell. We've all seen that site before. I just thought it was hysterical. Okay, me back to work. You guys go watch something worthwhile. Bye.